In this video, you'll see new impossible colors like these ones. These are images rendering impossible color combinations of basic colors, which together create incredible color experiences outside of what we can naturally see. Compared to the millions of basic colors, we can already see impossible color combinations at trillions of new and exciting colors, whose proper implementation into our color vision allows for more and stronger color contrasts, as well as an incredibly better color differentiation. In the following, I'll introduce you to the best digital tetrachromacy simulation I've invented so far. What you're about to see is the culmination of years of hard work and deep thinking about how I can bestow the ability of extraordinary color vision onto myself and other people. Tetrachromacy compared to trichromacy. At first you might wonder how it's even possible to simulate tetrachromacy. After all, tetrachromacy should only be possible by adding a fourth cone type to our threefold cone system. To which I say, technically you're right. But this statement hints at a more fundamental question. What makes tetrachromatic vision so special and unique from trichromatic vision in the first place? With trichromacy, the color vision that most people possess, we can see three primary colors. Their diverse combinations create all the other trichromatic colors that you're already familiar with, including the three secondary colors yellow, cyan and magenta, which are created by equally combining two primary colors each. There's also a white which is created by equally combining all three primary colors. Here, black is just defined as the color you see in the absence of light. Therefore, I won't number it among this series of colors. Of course, there are a lot more colors, but all of them are just combinations of these seven colors. Now then, how many new colors does a tetrachromat perceive compared to a trichromat? Well, we can answer this question by using a little bit of math. A tetrachromat possesses a fourth cone and therefore also a fourth primary color, which mixes with every other trichromatic color. This means that a tetrachromat can see four primary colors, six secondary colors, and four similarly unique tertiary colors, plus a white. A tetrachromat's colors have a heightened contrast compared to the colors a trichromat can see. All in all, there are 15 unique colors that a fully functional tetrachromat can differentiate. This kind of color vision is pretty remarkable, because it not only increases our ability to differentiate between colors, but also makes the colors themselves much richer in contrast. A new way to think about colors, impossible color combinations. Now onto a similarly pressing matter. While you've already experienced a few impossible color combinations at the beginning of this video, we still need to define what an impossible color combination actually is. Normally we would need to cross our eyes in order to see impossible color combinations. But luckily thanks to the recent rise of virtual reality technology, it has become relatively easy to be able to perceive impossible color combinations especially for those people who have a hard time crossing their eyes. Now, instead of just hearing about them, we will actually be able to see impossible color combinations with our own two eyes. By intelligently implementing these impossible color combinations into our color vision, we'll create new color experiences unique from any other basic color, giving us the ability to simulate higher color vision dimensionalities. Greater color visions like tetrachromacy, pentachromacy, hexachromacy or even abstract color visions outside of our basic understanding of color are made possible by the following special method. How many we see the world equally colored with our two eyes? There might be some dissimilarities here and there, caused by the locally different viewpoints of our eyes as well as the light incidence angle. But generally most colors we see are equal for both of our eyes. Closing one of your eyes doesn't alter your color vision at all, so long as both of your eyes are healthy. Unlike our depth perception, which is reliant on the duality of our visual system, our color vision has evolved to be redundant. We can make use of this so-called binocular redundancy by intentionally breaking it. With a little bit of ingenuity and technology, we can render the world in entirely different colors in a single or both eyes, a concept known as binocular disparity. All of this while preserving object recognition in each eye thanks to the unchanged luminance of those colors, thereby giving us the ability to enhance our color vision extraordinarily. In order to enhance our color vision, we need to come up with a method which adds more colors in between of the already existing colors. To accomplish this, we need to compress colors in the visible color spectrum and fill in more colors into the freed space. For now, the easiest way we can achieve this color multiplication is to just recycle the basic rainbow colors. In later videos, I'll also show a method where you can exchange these recycled rainbow colors for more unique colors. Examples of impossible color spectra Alright, equipped with this knowledge, we can now properly adjust the color multiplication for our simulated tetrachromatic vision. The perfect number would be a 2.17 times increase, but we'll go with a 2 times increase for now, because it allows the recycled rainbow colors to nicely add up. A difference of about 0.2 doesn't make a huge difference in this example anyway. 
Now take a look at the normal color spectrum before your eyes. It contains all the basic colors you already know of, but probably with a little less vibrancy compared to real world colors because of the limitations of your headset and the color compression of you too. And here's the impossible tetrachromatic color spectrum where one eye still sees colors normally, but the other eye sees them with a two times color increase. This means that every color you're currently seeing is an impossible color combination. However, because this is probably your first time seeing such a large amount of impossible color combinations directly side by side, let's make them easier for your eyes and brain to recognize and process them by limiting their amount and separating them from each other with a clear border. You can compare your new tetrachromatic color vision to your original by just closing your one eye that has the color multiplication applied to it. You should now have a much easier time combining each of the two colors. If it doesn't work at first or there are some weird artifacts, then just give your eyes and brain a little time to understand and process what you currently see. This is akin to a skill. The longer you train your eyes and brain and see impossible color combinations like this, the more stable and easy they will become to recognize. To better your understanding of how significant this comparatively little color enhancement is, let's take a look at this normal gradient from red to yellow to green. Now watch what happens if we give one of your eyes tetrachromatic vision again, thereby creating impossible color combinations. Pure red stays the same in this example, but orange becomes a yellow orange, yellow becomes a green yellow, lime becomes a cyan lime and green becomes a blue green. By adding twice as many colors we can make twice as many distinctions. And because we can normally not see these impossible color combinations, each of these colors feel like new and distinct colors, even though they are technically just impossible color combinations of basic colors. And even if these new impossible colors might seem unstable at first, you can still differentiate them from basic colors because of their instability. While color spectra and gradients are quite interesting to look at, with this extraordinary vision, you really get the sense of how much your color vision has increased by looking at things you're already familiar with, like well-known paintings, everyday objects, and colorful images of plants, for example. In the following, I show you a few images which really work well with this impossible tetrachromatic vision. The effect of impossible colors. This color vision enhancement method doesn't add any new information to the images and videos we're looking at. Although impossible color combinations can certainly be used to encode entirely new color information into our color vision. The implementation of impossible color combinations just makes it easier to differentiate the colors that we can already see from each other because they allow for the perception of a lot more and more unique colors. This completely reshapes how we see, giving us a new understanding of colors and new possibilities to use, interact and communicate with them. With this method of breaking binocular redundancy and creating binocular disparity via the implementation of impossible color combinations, tetrachromacy is just the bare minimum. We can easily simulate pentachromacy, hexachromacy, heptachromacy and so on just by increasing the multiplication of the colors in one of our eyes. And not only that, while tetrachromats are stuck with the few colors they can see, we can easily exchange the colors in impossible tetrachromacy by simply exchanging them, giving rise to a customizable as well as enhanced color vision. In my personal experience, the more colors I add, not only the better I can naturally differentiate them, but also the more real, beautiful, bright and contrasty the world will look. That's because you can better differentiate visual reality from itself and impossible color combinations themselves are just amazing colors to look at. Closing words. Today we've seen but a very tiny slice of all the possible impossible color combinations, all of which we can technically implement into our color vision with a little bit of ingenuity. While neurotypical trichromats can see about 16 million unique colors, we obtain the ability to differentiate about 140 trillion unique colors by implementing impossible color combinations into our color vision. That is, 8 million times more colors than you can currently perceive. A number so large that even though I've been looking at impossible color combinations for over two years now, I'm still discovering new and exciting colors every day, to this very day. 
and currently developing an application called Color in Color for PC and virtual reality, which enables you to customize and share your personally designed color vision by implementing altered and augmented colors, as well as all the impossible color combinations which you desire into your color vision. You can join my Discord server to get more info and development updates. I've also created a website where you can find my most recent articles about color vision enhancements, as well as little applications which will help you better understand impossible color vision. The next videos will focus on the simulation of even higher color vision dimensionalities like pentachromacy and hexachromacy. Given this prospect, functional tetrachromats, who can see merely a few tens of millions of more colors, are color blind in comparison to the hundreds of trillions of unique impossible colors trichromats can see and differentiate with a little bit of technological help. So stay tuned and subscribe in order to fetch new ways to experience life. I am Inquai and I will show you how to reshape and enhance your sensory experiences because it is nothing but our senses that connect us to this world. Thanks for watching.